welcome back to Machinist Made. Today we're going to be going over the 2D engraving function. To get started I've got tutorial 9 pulled up here and the first thing we're going to do like always is do a setup. Go to our setup tab. Within our setup tab we need to make sure our X, Y, and Z is orientated in the correct direction. To do this we go to model orientation ZX and our Z axis is on top of our part and our X axis is automatically in the right location but if we want to we can also set the plane on this side so our X is pointing to the correct direction. The next thing we have to do is define our stock over in our stocks tab. Again you've probably heard me say this if you've watched one of my other videos we don't work in relative size boxes, we work in fixed size boxes based on the constraints that our material supplier gives us. So this part is five inches by three and a half. We need to go a little bit bigger than that. So let's go 5.25 and our depth 3.75. Then we're also gonna do a height. Now this part is pretty thin uh, it's roughly a quarter inch. So on our Z height, we're going to change that to 0.375. Our model position is going to be offset from top. And my traditional 20 thousandths of material. Next thing we need to do is post process. Program number 8009. Program comment. Again, this is whatever you kind of want to put in here. If you were uh, wanting to keep track of what the program was and you didn't want to remember numbers, you would just put in tutorial 9. But this is an example, so I'm going to put example in. And my work coordinate offset is going to be 1. This represents the work offset in our machines as G54. Once we've done this, we can simply click OK, and our part is now set up. The next thing that we need to do is figure out a proper tool pathing. Traditional tool pathing is face, contour, and then whatever else you need to do. So in this case, we're going to use face. The tool that I'm going to use is uh, going to be under milling. And then I do believe there is a two inch face mill within here. Select that two inch face mill, click select, and these feeds and speeds needs to be needs to be set to your manufacturer recommendations. But for today, I'm just going to use the stock parameters given to me by Fusion. Now again, again if you watch my other videos, facing is pretty straightforward. You only have to select OK, and the software knows where the face of the part is. You've told it the stock parameters. It can then go in and calculate what it needs to face. Next thing we need to do is contour. The tool that I'm going to use can be found under milling tools, and we're going to use a flat end mill, and it's half inch. Once we've pulled this tool up, You'll see on this tool, unlike the face mill, there's multiple parameters depending on what you're machining. So for today, let's say I am going to be doing aluminum finishing. I'm not going to be doing any adaptive. I want one pass and done. So this is why I am using the aluminum finishing. It's got all the presets in here for it. So this tool is going to run at 7,639 RPM and 1,000 feet per minute. This tool is going to run at 7,639 RPM, 1,000 SFM or surface feet per minute. The actual feed rate is going to be 159 inches and coolant status is on flood. Once we select that tool, we can then go into geometry and select the bottom contour of that part. And we are simply done. You click OK and it will come in and it will face not face, but contour all the material off. Simple as that. 
Now the next thing we need to do is our actual 2D engraving. To make this easy on us, we will go to our model drop down right here. You'll open sketches if it's not already open. Sketch 2 and Sketch 3. That's the ones I am selecting to engrave. And then once I click off, you can see that everything is deselected. And I will turn my body off. That way that's not in my way. I will then go to 2D. Engrave. The tool that I'm going to use for this is a half inch spot drill and well engraving tool that can be found under milling tools engrave chamfer mills right here we're going to again use the default parameters mash select then you can hover over your text select the inside and outside boundary of the places to be engraved and select OK. What this is going to do is automatically determine that you want this area engraved and these letters. And the final thing that I'm going to do is 2D and then we're going to go contour. I'm going to turn my model or my bodies back on. I'm going to select the outside edge and under passes this is an actual chamfer I'm going to use a 20 thousandths tip offset oh that was width yeah 20 thousand chamfer width and a tip offset of 100 thousandths this will leave a nice chamfer around the part need to fix that direction there we go make sure your arrows on the outside of the part now you can see my very light chamfer and again if I turn the body off you can plainly see there is a chamfer on the outside of the part last thing that we always do is simulate to make sure everything is the way we want it I actually like to completely turn my models off when I am simulating a part. Once we click play, we can watch it run through the entire operation to verify everything is going to work. Engrave um, is a very simple function in Fusion to use. It, it works kind of like chamfer, but you got to make sure if you want to engrave in between something you're selecting both features like we did on the outside here. One thing that I do want to mention is Fusion can be used as a engraving software like VCarve or Dellcam or any of the other uh, popular softwares that are out there. Uh, some examples that I actually have is over here on a blank file you'll actually be able to see how I am doing uh, variable depth and that's within the font itself so the font that I'm choosing to use bold script I don't remember what this one of these is a uh, very popular font I've seen this one right here is very popular for plaques and stuff like that and you can simply see the only thing that I have is sketch geometry so you know this text right here we go in and edit my model, I'll be able to see it, it is uh, Edwin's script. And then uh, this one is however you pronounce that because I don't know. And then again, this is our script bold, which also all three of these are popular fonts that are used in plaques and everything else. And again, I don't have any fancy uh, models, I don't have anything like that, I've just got simple you know 2d design and I created a block with my actual setup so you could see the actual engraving I get asked a lot you know can infusion do graving and I'm like yes very much so they say well does it vary the depth yes it very much varies the depth see when it goes from one tool to the next it's varying the depth within the tool path itself so yeah fusion is very capable of doing uh, any kind of actual engraving per se. Be able to see it when it plunges in. So 
that tool is varying its height as it's cutting. Hope you enjoyed this video on, on simple 2D engraving. If you've got any questions and comments, leave them in the description below. And I uh, hope to see you back here. Make sure you like and subscribe the video so more people can get to see it and learn you know, Fusion 360 right along beside you. Other than that, hope to see you back.